What's up guys, Brennan Myers here. Super excited to show you a new movement that I've been doing that I've been incorporating in all my training exercises. And so it's called the foam roll rollout. So you're not gonna be using a, uh, a roller, right? You think of ab rollouts, you know what those are, I, I'm, I'm assuming. But here, we're gonna take a foam roller. You've seen one of these things, you do it for mild fascia release and really to work on muscles and tightness and all of that. But today we're gonna actually use it in a movement. You can use a foam roller in so many different movements, especially this one. So keys for what we're going to be doing your feet you can you can have your feet driven into the ground as so if you would like or you can have them here um, if you're here you could push into the ground a little bit more to stabilize i guess vice versa just depends on what you're more comfortable with it's not a huge factor but then next is going to be your knees need to be shorter width apart or just outside of shorter width apart make sure you're not caving in when you're coming down like this Right? You wanna make sure you're stabilizing through your core and everything. Now the muscles you're gonna be using are your serratus anterior. Remember those, those muscles when you're flexing like this and you can see in the mirror those three little uh, muscles, right? And then you also have your posterior capsule and then your lat. This is gonna really help out with that lat and activate like crazy, okay? So, rest of the cues. So you have your feet, you have your knees here, and then you're gonna have the foam roller a little bit ahead of you. And as you can see, my butt isn't like this, it's more here, okay? It's not flexed out, it's more in extension, okay? And then we're gonna push away from the foam roller here, keeping it ahead of our, our own head, ahead of our head. <laughs> and then this are the cues as you're going down, okay? So each rep, I'm gonna go towards kind of the end of your hand at the bottom. So at the end, here at the end, 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 and then you're gonna come here, Extend, and it's the same thing that uh, pushing away from the foam roller as you're rolling through the bottom all the way to the top, keeping that same position and pushing away from the foam roller. That's the most important thing, push away from the foam roller. I'm gonna show you another rep right now. Right here, so you're gonna push, 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 push. As you can see, I'm not swaying back and forth as I'm doing this. I'm stabilizing with my core and pushing away, pushing away, pushing away. You might only be able to go to here. That's completely fine. Just make sure you're coming right back up. Tightening everything, don't go like this. Or like push, you're pushing away, but also tightening in and pulling towards your body here, okay? So that is your foam roll rollout. Shout out to Eric Cressy, he's the homie. Uh, he's been working with me on a lot of different movements. Super fun guy to check out. Um, this especially is something that I've seen multiple times and I just started incorporating it finally and I wanted to introduce it to you so you could add it to your ab workouts. If you do this correctly, not only will you stabilize that core and strengthen your anterior core, but also that posterior side, the, uh, your low back and everything. So if you have any back pain or things like that, this will be great for you. Also shoulder issues, this is great for you, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of tutorial. A lot of really cool things happening this week. Experts are coming into town. You're gonna be learning all about the Creative Fitness Academy very soon, launching June 1st building an online fitness business. Super excited. See you next time. Peace.